10 years ago. <gasps> and time flies. Multi-millionaire rock icon David Bowie divorced his wife. But unlike most people who have gone through a divorce by law, she wasn't able to talk about what had happened until, ha-ha, a few weeks ago, when, thank God for our show, the gag order ended. <laughs> Unfortunately, so did the money. But she, she is here to kiss and tell all. Will you please welcome Angela Bowie? Come on, Spike. Why a gag order? I have no idea. Swiss what? divorce. A Swiss divorce? Mm hmm And they said for 10 years you were not allowed to speak about it at all. Yeah, I didn't pay too much attention. <laughs> what were they scared you would say? It's nothing, I don't think any, there was anything to be scared of. I think it was all to do with uh, control. That makes sense. You know, those people that are into that, the whole idea of marionette time of people dancing because i'm um, like over the what was what was so wild about the marriage that did he beat you no no not at all didn't beat you no he, he tried to kill me once he tried to <laughs> strangle me yeah, but there, were, there were not persistent beatings no <laughs> there was a quick sort of you know and okay uh sexually was it weird it did have its moments oh, there were there were all right <laughs> there were a few little you know radical moments but not you know i'm a, i actually don't like kissing and telling i think yeah. that that's sort of yeah. you know there were really some things that were a little strange the worst part about it was is that i lost my company you know i had a management company that looked after other artists as well as david and so he took that away from you and but, so you know i lost what? my job as well as my husband but you the got husband money. part really wasn't too bad no <laughs> <laughs> offload a husband or two have you been remarried did you remarry no, no. what about your son you i haven't son. seen my son for about four years actually that's horrible why, yes. why is that well that's just uh our process of elimination you know i have um a nine-year-old daughter and so it's hard for her she has had a chance of knowing and meeting her brother, but she hasn't had a chance to see him for a long time. So that, that part of it's not nice. That part hurts my heart. Yeah, but, but nothing, I still don't know why there's a gag order if there's nothing to be gagged about. Does that make sense? We thought yeah, you're going to come you know on and you're going to break the gag and you're going to tell us things that this whole audience would go, what? I can't believe it. The gag order yeah. is, is uh, it's a really strange thing. First of all, because it's not, it doesn't, why would anybody not want to be spoken about? Why would they well, assume a terrible thing. that something, you know, awful was going to be said? I'll tell you what else there is. There's restraining orders on me to all of his shows. You can't go to his shows? That's right. Would you want to? No. So, but do you see, yeah. what, why would anyone even yeah. bother? And well, you could get free tickets me. and then sell them. <laughs> see, you know, <laughs> you are always one for a deal. Sure. I love that about well, you, Joan. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing? You know what amazed me the most about you? When I first met you with David, which was years ago, the two of you looked exactly... Johnny Carson Johnny show. Johnny Carson show. You looked exactly alike. Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, I guess we did, pretty much. Do you always go for men that you look like? Not at all. It's, that's so strange. I think that was the one person that I ended up marrying that, that actually resembled my father a lot. My you dad was that kind of good-looking sort of... Uh, Lawrence of Arabia type yeah. of face, and David has that same thing. So what do you do now? I'm an actress, and I'm acting in a film called The Monster Tour, which is being filmed in Atlanta. I'm going to Sydney to do a television series called Video Verite. So it's all behind you, the horrible marriage. Yeah, no. it is. I hope it's all behind me, uh, what, you know. What if, I, mean, I want, okay, to be, I, I want I my money. I don't your feelings, but they told me you're going to come out, you're going to talk about his drug problem you're going to talk about three-way sex oh would you you're like to, would you like no, to talk no. about that you, I, I, no hey, can I, we talk I, let's go for it no, what i'm saying is i didn't want to be pouring you know i mean i thought everyone knew no, uh, what i'm saying is and i'm just surprised like somebody said oh she'll say he was very dirty he was filthy she had to wash him clean well, him up not, not exactly i wouldn't you know i mean i think was he dirty heard them towards the bathroom all right did he wash all the time no, he certainly did not. One had to herd him towards the bathroom. But okay. he was also younger then. He's probably learned those civilizing things. You know, I wouldn't want to say that as of this time, now, this person is soiled. 
Yeah. I would imagine that, you know, I mean, he's right. been disinfected a couple of times. Yeah. And, you know, he's, it's perfectly safe to go to the shows, everyone. Right. All right? <laughs> you know. Um, I, have, I have to make sure that the income is there for when I actually get the settlement. But um, uh, uh, three-way sex, there's a thought. Oh, and was there three-way sex? Enjoyable? Oh, well, <laughs> I wish I knew. At this well, point, I wish I had something to write in my diary. I can't even remember one-way sex at this age. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Isn't she the best? What was that like there? How, when, um, your next guest, Howard Stern, and I were talking on the radio about yeah. this. He was so appalled that David, you know, hadn't just settled and everything. And he started, like, really talking to me about the whole sexual part of it. And I kept thinking to myself, it's so long ago. I don't even remember. remember. I mean, it couldn't have been that exciting. But there were those encounters, three-way encounters. See, you know, today... See, look at that. Everyone you know what? We should go to commercial. They're waving me commercial. Really? I should bring David... Uh, not David. <laughs> let's bring him on. Let's bring David let's Bowie settle on. Let's right no, now. Let's bring Howard Stern on. I thank you so much. We'll be right back, okay? Don't go anywhere. But to his, <laughs> to his millions of radio listeners, there was no one quite like him. Now the most controversial man on radio was finally getting his own TV show on WWOR-TV this summer. And I hope he does just incredibly well, because I adore him. Will you please welcome the outrageous, the unpredictable, the very funny, I'll be the judge of that, Howard Stern. <laughs> what a pressure. Uh, Angie Bowie opened up so much <laughs> that... Uh, I'm very afraid of the questioning that might go on. I mean, some of that stuff about Bowie, I, I guess it is sort of a theme show today, Joan. I uh, used to be David, I used to be with David Bowie, too. And I would like to speak about it and come across candidly and tell you, but he was filthy, he was dirty. He, Let me uh, ask you. He really, uh, he never cleaned up. She called us to come on. Yeah. She said, have I got stories to tell you. Right. Uh -oh. I mean. I don't know what happened. Better Bowie story. What do you do when a guest is sitting there? I don't want to be rude. You want to say, Why did you call me? Right. Who the hell are you? Well. And what are you sitting on my couch for? I don't know. I, I was a little shocked. You know, you shocked me. So. <laughs> that was the, uh, was the idea that she was going to come out and tell you something about Bowie? Yeah, she called us. I mean, I read better stuff in the Inquirer about Bowie uh, than I... I read better... I mean, I read better stuff No, I thought world. Bowie was supposed to be bisexual, according to what yes. I read in the book. Now, did she say anything about that? She didn't want to discuss it here. Get her out of here. I'll get her out of her... <laughs> hey, Angie, come back here. You get her out of the couch, we drill her, and we really talk to her about David Bowie. Well, because you did it, you weren't direct with her, Joan. You were afraid this isn't like you. You were like, you were beating around the bush. Well, I, I would like her Someone to Someone get Angie out here, <laughs> for God's sake. Get it, Angie! Go <laughs> I was waiting to hear something. Get a hold of this woman, find out what she's doing on this show. <laughs> I mean, don't waste our time. Well, we got a call from Angie, too. I mean, she called us up and said, I got to, she was at some place in Atlanta. And That's she said, right. I got to talk. I got to talk. I'm going on Joan Rivers. Yes. After Joan Rivers, she, I'm going on your show, Howard. I said, yeah. you got to talk? What do you got to talk about? I can't talk about it now, but when I get there, I'm going to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, well. Maybe... So there's obviously something on this woman's mind, but she's <laughs> deeply disturbed today. She don't want, where is she? she Angie, here? get Angie, out of here. Come on. Come on, Angie. Come All right, now All right, sit down. Angie, what's now, going on here? Tuck this you in over here. Howard. All right, here. Well, now listen, Angie. Let me ask you something. Now, Bowie was bisexual, right? Yes. All right, so he was bisexual. So when, what happened? When you were in bed with Bowie, uh, he would bring guys home or what? You're awfully loud. Would yes. he bring? He would bring them home. He did. On one occasion, he did. Uh huh. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, ask her. Now I ask, ask her. her. Now hold it, Joan. Her. Ask her why she didn't tell me that. Why wouldn't you? Because I don't know. She feels the need to tell me that. Now, no, Angie. He's just so forceful. The point is, though, you would wear this dress, and then he'd say, I gotta be with a guy. Is that it? This dress Nearly. A story of you? No. The thing ask is. Ask about her wedding night. This was like a big story All about right, the wedding happened? night. What happened? No, listen, you're obviously upset with David Bowie. He dumped you, right? Is that the case? Yeah. All right, so of you're, bitter, you're bitter and you're angry, am I correct? No. Well, I'm busy. You're busy. Okay, everyone knows you're busy with the movie and everything, but something must have happened along the way, somewhere. 
Yes. Right? You were. What did he do to you? Did he? What happened on the wedding you know, night? You're did not he do getting much better. Wait, I'm gonna get there. Yeah, get, I'm gonna get there. Excuse me. I don't see you getting anything out of her either. Well, I got that he was bisexual. Oh, big deal. So you caught him in bed with a guy? Oh, I caught it? him in bed with men several times. Ah. I got one of the best times I ah. caught him in now bed with Mick Jagger. You did oh, catch him. Oh. Came back to a trip. The ticket to get up here, bitch, and you tell him that? Patrick. I'm sorry, but what a great show. Now, wait a second. So you caught him in bed with Mick Jagger. They were just sitting around in bed together, right? No, they weren't sitting around at all. They had their clothes off, is what you're saying? They certainly did. I walked upstairs, and I was, you know, lugging suitcases straight from the airport. And uh, Daniela said, oh, I think there's someone in your room. Yeah, and you walk in. I and you walk see in. Two rock there were people. two people in my room. So what'd you do? Did I you think they were composing Angie. And you joined in, or what? No, I went and made breakfast. You went and made breakfast. Didn't you care that your husband was there with Mick Jagger in bed? Well, even though I cared, there wasn't really that much that you know I was going to do about well, it. Well, no, that doesn't what? bother you when your husband's in bed with another guy. <laughs> no, I didn't care. I made some breakfast. I did. Yeah, I made some breakfast. It was I did. excellent. I, I went and made breakfast. It was good. The hard was a good meal. Was freshly squeezed. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It's perfect. That makes sense. That's a perfect reaction. Whenever egg? I catch my wife in bed with a few chicks, I always go down and have some uh, <laughs> some <laughs> eggs and stuff. Yeah, you got to keep a grip on it, honey. I, you know. Ask her what else. I paid. First class up from Atlanta. We're getting there. We're oh, getting there. Not enough. All right, so who else was in bed with David? Um, uh, give me some guy. leading questions Come on, uh, give uh, us another your... famous guy you found in bed with David. Uh, that's, that's tricky. Well, you know what? Let's go to commercial. All I think right, all right. We, we got, got something. We got, we got something. Thanks, Thank Angie. you so much. We'll be right back. Okay. Thank you, Angie. <laughs>